So, Drea. Yes, Charles. There are only two things that excite me in life. I honestly have never seen you that excited. When Circle K announces a new unique Mountain Dew flavor, and when I'm on my way with Drea to go see some awesome live music. What are we going to see today? Phoebe Bridgers. The absolute queen. I love Phoebe Bridgers. I could just gush about Phoebe for hours, but you have. and I have before. We've we've played Phoebe on the channel before to the people's delight, and there will be more to come. So we're just gonna bring you along on this Phoebe gig blog. Like this is a horrible angle for me. But it's a great angle for me. Yeah, and that's so unfair. Well, you know, this is I don't make the rules. You had to drive because I was too excited. It's, is this a better angle? You want me to reach across? Sean! There's someone angle? cutting in front of us. All right, we made it to Ybor City. Yes, yes. So I think Punisher is one of the best indie albums to come out in the last 20 years. Drea, what do you think? Sure. Uh, also, I love Punisher. Phoebe and I have the same musical influences. Would you like to speak on that for a second? Sean is also a huge Elliot Smith person, and Phoebe's also a, a huge Elliot Smith person. Uh -huh. And I feel like that's kind of something that is more obscure than other artists. Uh, it's not even like how it all the girls. Be. It's not like a, how all the girls. Oh my gosh, you loved Taylor Swift when you were growing up. Uh, like it's not day. that. It's like if you were really into Elliot Smith growing up, I'm sorry for you, but I'm yeah. also here with you. So uh, that's why she's the best. Now we're gonna walk through these mean streets of Ybor City to get to her. And now Drea's favorite part where we vlog in public. I hate this, <laughs> but like it's not as bad as the last time because last time was in freaking Disney. And I'm With so world. many people. And then also at the Keshi concert with like a hundred people that were so close together. I'm like, can you please take your camera out of here? Like that's too much. This I'm trying, is lovely. I'm trying to give the people uh, a first row experience into what it's like in a week in the life of Andrea and Sean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a rooster. Whoa. Oh my gosh, rooster. Oh, the rooster's having sex. Uh, Look at the one running away. It's raping. God, what? It's raping the other one. Rooster sex was not how I expected this. I know, mean, <laughs> I didn't expect that was going to The life of Andrea and Sean. <laughs> Just another week in the life. survived we had to uh, recoup because we were too exhausted after the concert huh? yes because it was very humid outside in and... fact it was <laughs> so humid it caused many medical emergencies yes so here's the thing that's some cap is we thought this was at the cuban club yes 
And it is. But it's an outdoor venue. But it's at the parking lot of the club. So it was outdoors. Yeah. Which it never said it was outdoors, which is no. fine. But it's like, it's Florida. It's 90 degrees. And some people were like camped out there since like 8 a.m. or something like that, right? So. Be in the front. Yeah. So what was happening is you have all these people who have been there for 12 hours and they just started dropping like flies. <laughs> They're having heat strokes. They were dehydrated. Fainting, panic like, attacks. Yeah, because you spend the whole time in line waiting to be in the front. So you're not going to go get water in the back. Yes. So you can lose your spot. Yes, exactly. So I've been to, uh, I've been to a, a good amount of concerts. Only once or twice has the show ever been stopped at yeah. a concert I've been at. Have you ever been to a, a concert? I've a show never seen a show. It's kind of rare for a show to just stop, like, mid-song. Nine times. Yes. Nine times. And that's just Phoebe's set. Well, there, the no, there are five in Phoebe's set. Oh, you're And then both. four in the opener set. Oh, never mind. But, like, but nine medical emergencies, like, stop the show, everyone, instruments off, get a paramedic to this person. <laughs> Yeah, there's like people that would shine their flashlights at the place where the person was like fainting and they'd be like, Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Yeah, she'd, like, like so like 50 show. people just shining their phone flashlights yeah. and then they would just have to like literally stop and then make a decision. Now, it's funny at our shows, we've actually had to stop a few times. From what? Like, I like if there's like a thing. Oh, like, like a hurricane. Yeah, well, the hurricane was one. Another time, I remember the bows just shut off New oh, Year's yeah, Eve. Yeah, there's, yeah. Nothing, there's nothing more awkward than like, do we start over? <laughs> do we pick up from where the song stopped? It's just super awkward. It happened a few times though, and but I love the album so much that I'm like, you know, I'm not that mad. They start it over. Start it over. Uh -huh. At least half of it. But even with the medical emergencies, it's amazing show. Yeah, it was like amazing. she's so, she's so good. Yeah, absolutely incredible, absolutely gorgeous, stunningly gorgeous. Oh my gosh, her outfit was cute because everyone was wearing like the skeleton outfits, but she kind of got like the good version of the skeleton outfits because mm. it was like a little bit cropped and it had like the oh um I don't know it was the style of the shirt I don't really know what it's so, called I'm not yeah, good fashion amazing. but she looks very cute yeah she looks like a fashionable skeleton for for sure yeah. Uh -huh. Definitely mm -hmm. bougie skeleton vibes. I wanted to get a shirt, but it was too long to wait. You know, line. yeah, band merch is always a it's a slippery slope. I know, but I wanted to get the one go shirt. for it. Eh, yeah, but so another thing about these medical emergencies is I'm assuming most of these were just come with like sheer dehydration, right? Yeah. So the roadies started throwing <laughs> water bottles into the crowd. It was an awful idea. But they were whipping water bottles like like fifty yard just bombs into the crowd, and the thing is like. I don't, I don't want to type, gra type like whatever, typecast the demographic, but there were a lot of five foot two, 20 to 23 year old girls there, yeah. right? Eh. Once again, I felt like the tallest person there, which is, which is strange. Not a lot of, not a lot of tall dudes there, but these girls wouldn't see the water bottles coming. So they'd just be falling like death from above. <laughs> and like people were getting just like, just like smack. This girl, like, I swear, the place that we were standing had all these emergencies. Oh, my gosh. Because first off, the one girl who literally, Sean watched her get hit in the yeah, face. Like, uh -huh. here, by a water bottle. She got, she got demolished in the face. It was just, it was out of my reach. There was nothing I could have done. Yeah. But it was like, it was just like a few things behind us. And she just got demolished it was in the so face. Rough. So then what was happening, the roadies were like throwing these water bottles. And then you'd hear just screams. <laughs> like, ah! That was me because it happened a few times where it's like over your head and it's like, I don't know what's going to hit me. Oh my God. It was, it was funny. And I think maybe the roadies thought like, oh, yay. And it was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. It was scary. Because yeah. like, I'm not, sometimes, like, I'm not the most mm -hmm. unathletic, but I feel like sometimes I don't trust myself to be catching <laughs> something at such a high velocity. <laughs> you don't trust your athletic abilities? No. I mean, they were getting that. whipped. Those water bottles were getting whipped yeah i feel like the they crowd. were in a cursed area because like behind us was the one who like straight up fainted and then the next to us was like another girl who was dehydrated i'm like a oh lot, my of, gosh. lot of fainting it was in our area too it was like a lot of faint and then after travis scott you know they're not taking any chances oh no 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 they're like be, be better not to have 
someone died at the show, we can stop yeah. and start again. You know? I think that really brought a lot of awareness. <laughs> definitely, it definitely did. And Phoebe is woke, so she's like, no. Nah, oh, I love we're not Phoebe. having nah. she, she handled it like a pro. Like, that had to be extremely frustrating yeah. for a man out there. Not frustrating, but like, also scary because you don't know, like, the, sure. you don't know how intense the med medical emergency is yeah of course right yeah. yeah it's like it's like what's the right thing it, it's i think it's kind of it's rough having the artist be the one to have to make that call i think that's totally unfair to an artist in the middle of a performance having to make the call to stop because yeah. the crowd is trying to get your attention to something going on yeah i feel like that's a venue issue and not an artist issue I but, mean, the venue issue is having a concert in Florida. Yeah, like, right, and not having there. water for people. Yeah, or I mean, if you, you are, yeah, it. what, ten dollars for a bottle of water? I mean, that's that's whatever. And then now they but, were giving it out for free. I'm like, I should have never bought. I didn't. Even, I didn't buy it. But I'm like, you know, sure, I, sure. I would regret yeah. buying it. But yeah, I did. <laughs> we could have just faked a medical emergency and gotten free water. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, so it was an amazing show. The opener was, you know, it's cool, Charlie. Right? Uh, Are we allowed to Charlie say Hickey? Hickey? Charlie Hickey. Why, why would we not be allowed to say Charlie Hickey? I don't know. I don't know if like YouTube flags these things. The word Hickey? I don't know. Sometimes they flag no. things. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. No, he, he was cool. He was fine. He Again. was just like a squish child. Yeah, he was... Uh, also a little frustrated. I could tell by having to stop his show several times. Well, because the, the issue with him is like... Phoebe has the live ba band, and then he mm. had to track, so like he had to start from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, that's so it's like, yeah, that's uh -huh. I think they skipped a few songs in there because he was like, "We can't keep going." Like, Prop skipping yeah. And props to Phoebe's band, so good. Yeah, one of the I have not seen a lot of live bands recently that don't really play to tracks. Now they had samples that they would trigger, but for the most part, no tracks at all, which is like massive props. I'm just not, I'm not about the tracks life. I get that this is where music is now, but you know. I mean, I get when you have less people, it's kind of unfeasible to play the entire track. Sure, yeah, you know, but whatever. No, but Charlie, Charlie did a good job. He did have one song that was kind of questionable. It was a little weird. Like, I feel like we were also the only people in the audience that were like, because we saw, like, our friends that happened to be there. Like, mm -hmm. we didn't know they were there. Shout out, Celine. <laughs> yeah. And actually, she was on the channel, right? But, um, oh, she was, yeah. She was yeah. Almost, yeah. So we we met up with them, and, like, we were in the same, you know, we had the the, the concert squad and mm -hmm. everything. But there's this song. I feel like you can go more in depth. But when we were listening to it, we were literally the only people in the entire crowd that were like, excuse me? Like, huh? Well, before well before the song started, he's like, I, I'm dedicating this one to the boys. Yeah. So instantly it's got my attention. Yeah. I'm like, ah, one for the boys. All yeah. right, all right. And then there's a line in there about how, like, me and the boys paying for sex. I was like, huh? Like one does. And we were just like, what? <laughs> Not like, we were the only ones that were like, huh? We were so confused. Yeah, it was very we were interesting. like, wait, with each other? Or like, yeah, with and other it's like, people? it's like, that's. Not normal for you and the boys. To it be went doing. from like Call of Duty relatable, like yeah, yeah, guys yeah. doing their guy thing, to like paying just, for sex. I'm like, just what? Me and the boys paying for sex. I yeah. don't know if we misunderstood or misheard. Or that. maybe, or maybe I've been treating my time with the boys all wrong, and and I've been doing <laughs> is that it what wrong. All the kids have been doing. Yeah, maybe this is what the kids do these days. <laughs> they just. <laughs> play, I don't know. Play some Call of Duty, then pay for some sex, then get on TikTok and talk about it. And, I don't, I don't know. I don't Couldn't know. really so relate that, to that. That was an interesting song. It really grabbed my attention, though. Yeah. Maybe that was the point. But Phoebe was the real star. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So many, sure. so many great. What was, your, what was some of your favorite songs? What was your favorite? I feel like I need to have a set list in front of me, but I feel like everything sounded good. I think I Know the End sounded cool in mm -hmm. person, because I always skip the end with the screaming, honestly. Yeah, but I think uh -huh. that having a scream moment with the entire crowd was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, having the, having the crowd scream along. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty awesome. So good. I'm just, I'm just, I See You is my jam. I See You is pretty good. I, I love that, I love that song. Was um, yeah, Halloween was great. Moon Song is amazing. Yep, Garden Song is great. Motion Sickness, starting it out with Motion Sickness, come on. They should have had come it. Come on, got here. I don't know, at the very beginning. Yeah, but hey. Controversial. I don't know, should we, uh, should we rock one out? Should, should we put a little I See You, should we try it? It's also funny, it's like the day after we went to this concert, we found out that we're playing our own show. Yeah, so we're trying to add all the Phoebe stuff, because I knew every word of this album. And like, yeah, so so we, so we, the next day we find out that, oh, can you guys play a four-hour set Saturday night? And we're like, I guess. I mean, 
And then, so then it's like, well, let's just play Punisher beginning to end because you already know the songs. I know every single song. I'm gonna do my acoustic rendition. It sounds nothing like the original. What? There's effort though, I see it. Thank you. Maybe two times. Okay. First time we've actually ever played the song. <laughs> Bridgers, please get her in contact with Sean. They literally have the same back. <laughs> you just shoot my shot for me. Yeah. I think she's engaged now, though, right? Is that true? One has that ever stopped a man oh before. Oh my God! Here we go. The, 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 well, thank you for saying a man and not you, Sean. A man <laughs> doesn't mean it's too late. Never too late, guys. Never give up. That's the point here. Never. Give I mean, even. If just oh. be friends that'd be cool sure i yeah, love bb mm -hmm. she's so cute yeah i feel like we're you guys have the same like everything it. yeah right mm -hmm. amazing he loves elliot smith too but but it, it, our bond goes deeper than just that mm -hmm. i know mm -hmm. you're not a punisher sure. at all call me yeah <laughs> maybe one of her bandmates knows you oh, i'm sure I'm so well known out there. Roadies, please. And, yeah, the roadies. Band the roadies, together. those are more my people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyways, thank you for uh joining us on this incredible concert vlog experience. Mm -hmm. Uh the message is to stay hydrated. Yeah. And practice your water bottle catching skills. Oh, for real. Never know when they might come in handy. And then go show Drea some love on her channel. 
Because we've got a Phoebe Bridgers reaction video coming up soon, do we not? I know, it's super exciting. You're going to want to be subscribed for that. I know. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.